Every animal has a right to say no, and you need the skills to get to the yes. So getting them from no to yes is not just something that happens while they're thinking about the day in their enclosure. Right. It happens because of what we skill trainers do to make saying yes to the things we ask of them um, more reinforcing. And so that opens up like a uh, just a fireworks full of great procedures about how to teach animals that working with us is in their favor. Yeah. And, and a big part of that is finding a way to make the learning enjoyable, make the learning really, really, really reinforcing because it's understandable that if you start, often what happens is they, uh, a working dog starts them at too high a level of skill right. that the dog needs and the dog is not succeeding and the dog is saying no and if all the trainer is going to do is stop the training and then start all over in the same place again tomorrow, that's a recipe for disaster. I think that information that the animal's giving you that this is too hard means I, as a trainer, need to rethink my training plan. I need to show them how to do it, make it easier for them to do it, make it more reinforcing for them to do it so that the answer is yes. And I love the way you say turning that no into a yes it isn't necessarily about the animal just is going saying yes yes you have to show them why and how right. to get to that yes 